This video is brought to you by Loot Crate. Both of these films are considered a Steven Spielberg production, so you get a lot of Spielberg trademarks. Like what, E.T.? <laughs> No. Like the E.T. references and director cameos. The story begins when this old guy dude discovers an alien life form. Then his great great or regular grandson exploits his discovery by selling his stuff without his permission. Cut to the main family and they're your regular 1990s sitcom family archetypes. You have the one kid with the perm who's the only child. He wanted a little brother or sister but his parents gave him a dog instead and he's cool with that. Then you have the mom, the loving housewife, and the fat daddy. Who the writers didn't know how to character develop so they use him for comic relief when he's breaking things around the house. Oh. So couldn't we have hired a professional? <laughs> See? That's funny. Anyways, one day the dad tells the son, I got a little surprise for you, son. It's a new car. Oh, you got him kidding me. Yeah, I am. You're not getting a Porsche. He was this close but it turns out to be a pet alien instead which i'm sure the son would have guessed if his dad gave him like two more tries everybody knows the only time humans and aliens could coexist is in star trek movies the other times it's only a matter of time before the aliens are hunted down by the gi joe lookalikes the humans know next to nothing about the aliens dark past and it's somewhat ironic because they solicit the help of the darkest character of the cast to do some studies on the strange life forms back to the main lovebirds in the film one day the one chick is talking with the one guy and they argue about who Who's fit to drive the vehicle? How about you let me drive? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't think it's such a good idea that you drive. Oh, why don't you walk home? She walks home and the main dude joins her. They show chemistry, and right before he's ready to throw her his virginity, he changes his mind after he realizes she's the pretty type with daddy issues. We'll get back to that part. In the meantime, we find out that the aliens are more than meets the eye and have the ability to transform into different shapes and sizes. The boy warns the police and they warn him to stop taking drugs. You think this kid is drunk, Brad? It's not until more of the monster starts popping up everywhere and destroying people's property that the cops believe he's not on any illegal or legal medication. Realizing he can't do this alone, the main boy goes to meet up with the main chick and eventually crashes into her when he finds her chilling near the local Burger King restaurant. After that, the monsters are set loose in the city. Bad guys cut the power to the generators so civilians can't call 911, the US military, or any kind of backup. With no power and probably no tomorrow, the girl opens up to her love interest and tells him about her childhood and how she had it way worse than Luke and Leia. After that, the boy and the girl decide to split up like they do in scary movies because that's always a good idea, insert sarcasm. The boy goes one way and the girl and his pet alien head in the other direction. Cars keep crashing and fake robots are all over the place and it's hard to see the humans coming out alive in this one. The head bad guy gets the good guy right where he wants him. The boy's clearly getting his manhood taken away until his friends jump in and hand it right back to him. The good guys win and the bad guys dump deep into the abyss. Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe so? If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below and click the subscribe button for more 24 reason videos. I'm Couch Tomato and I've got a bargain. I'm Couch Tomato and I've got a bargain. I'm Couch Tomato and I've got a bargain. Sorry about that. Time loops are pretty hectic this time of year. If you're looking for the perfect gift to treat yourself this holiday season, Loot Crate is the gift for you. For those of you who don't know, Loot Crate is a geek approved subscription box that delivers the best pop culture and gaming gear to the front of your doorstep. We already get to enjoy Earth's Mightiest Heroes on the big screen, but thanks to Loot Crate, you can enjoy them all in the kitchen also. Next month's crate theme is Super Science. This is probably the only time you'll get the greatest minds from the Marvel Universe in the same room and on one accord. You get your very very own original designs for Mr. Stark, Mr. Lang, Mr. Banner, Mr. Parker, and Mr. Panther to decorate your kitchen and enhance your edible experience. A side note, Christmas came early this year because when you use this link, you get 10% off your purchase. Click the link in the description and subscribe to Loot Crate today.